god morning everybody it's me again crazy bag lady Ooh, look at this when you're having a day and you're so spoiled you just don't know what bed to get in <laughs> so obviously i've washed all these beds yesterday so they're all nice and clean um so they're just airing off after being in the tumble dryer and Winnie couldn't make a mind up which bed to sit in so every time i brought back in the kitchen she's been in a different bed it's very confusing for you isn't it don't you know what bed to sit in you just don't know do you it's so funny <laughs> look at her face are you enjoying yourself all these comfy beds you're very lucky aren't you anyway so it's thursday morning ruby's back at one of her little youth club sessions um it's half past nine i can't wake up really early this morning then i couldn't get back to sleep it's really annoying when you don't have to get up but you get up because you can't get back to sleep it's so annoying anyway so thursday morning who knows what the day will bring all ah, right breakfast so my breakfast looks a bit random this morning so i've got some leftover jelly some little tinned peaches um a cereal bar and a banana so that's my breakfast it looks like there's loads of jelly there isn't there's just a little bit left there so i'll tend to my little breakfast here we go again Granddad day. <laughs> no matter what we do in life we still have to wash up oh right even if you ran off with a milkman you'd still end up washing up every morning <laughs> uh, right so I don't know what we're going to do this morning. So Ruby's gone off to a little youth club thing. So we're now all alone, apart from our little furry friends. Um, I have got a top I want to return to the charity shop. So we could nip to the charity shop. Then I kind of feel I've been to the charity shop quite a lot lately and I could do with getting on with some jobs. But then I think, Jane, you've got like three hours on your own before I've got to pick them up. So we could go for a super fast rummage. Hmm, what shall we do? I don't know. So we'll leave the pots to soak. Uh, we'll get our teeth brushed and then I think we'll go and return this top and then we'll do housework later. Ooh, the excitement. When you find another bed to sit in. <laughs> so I've got one there, one there, one there, one there. It's very exciting, isn't it? Here I am. Hello. So my hair needed washing so I've had to pin it up and it was on those days where no matter where I pinned it, there's just bits sticking up. Look, there's another bit there. So I'm just having a bad hair day. We all have them, don't we? Anyway, so lipstick of the day today, I've got on. Isn't it lovely? Um, it's an NYX lingerie uh, lipstick in Bedtime Flirt 08, number 08. And it's just really nice. It just sets like a matte lipstick, but it's just a really, really nice colour. So if you want a really good nude, then I can definitely recommend this one. It's really, really nice. It's lovely. So today we've got on bedtime flirt. Perfume of the day. So perfume of the day today is Avon Far Away. This is my special perfume. I've worn this perfume on and off for years and years and it's the only perfume that when I wear it, somebody will always ask me what perfume I've got on because I smell nice. No matter what other perfume I wear, this is the one that always gets comments. Um, it just smells absolutely amazing. I think it's one of Avon's best sellers and it just smells so, so nice. So if you want a really nice perfume, it's got like a musky sort of smell. It's just beautiful. When you walk past someone, you can kind of smell it and it's just so nice. So... If you want to try some new perfume, I can definitely recommend this. And Miss Florence, back in her favourite place on my bed on her special little blanket. You okay, darling? Ooh, look at my shoes. Look at my shoes. So I had these for my birthday. I've not worn them yet. Look at them. They're so pretty. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to wear these today. They're so pretty. So today's all about the green side of life. So my shoes don't match my coat or my blazer. Um, but you know what? Who cares? So I've got greeny coloured shoes on, ripped jeans and my little green blazer. So I thought if I don't wear it, I'll never wear it. And it's a bit cooler this morning. So we'll get away with wearing a blazer. So let's go return this top and have a quick look in the trash up then when he's come home and clean up let's go we've arrived so i've just pulled into the car park and the first section of it's all cornered off and i thought mm, what's going off and it's like a big mobile testing unit for coronavirus it's massive it's took up half the car park 
So we're not going that way, so we're going that way. So let's go. That's why I bought the um, the spare back. I thought they might need it for this yeah. afternoon. I don't need a ten. Okay. Thanks a lot, though. 
Right, we're back in the car. So I hope you enjoyed that little trip. So we now need to go and get some milk and then we can go home for some dinner. I'm home. Glad to see my friends still comfy. I really need to put all these beds away back in their usual positions. I don't really want a kitchen full of beds, darling. No, sorry. Right, super fast dinner. So for dinner's sake, I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes and mackerel in brine. And then mug of the day, you've been amazing, well done. So to anybody that's feeling a bit fed up today, you might need to hear this. So you have been amazing, well done. Oh, now my friend's moving beds again, just to be a bit closer to me. <laughs> dinner was lovely. <laughs> as lovely as a tin of fish can be. Uh, right, so what do we buy? what do we buy okay so i went in two didn't buy anything for the first one took my stuff back but then spent more so i'm very good for charity shops <laughs> so i bought this it's wool um i don't really know why i bought it but i just bought it because it's really like fluffy i don't actually even know if it is wool it could be like felted stuff mm, i don't really know it's just pink and it's really fluffy and i thought when I do my crafting, when I eventually get around to doing some crafting, you can use it as hair on things, you can tie it as bows, you know, there's loads of stuff you can do with it. Although I think it is wool, I think it's that really fat wool where people made big chunky blankets and stuff out of it, but I just really liked it, so I got that. I don't even know what it was, I didn't even ask, I just paid for everything, so I hope it wasn't expensive. <laughs> Look! It's so lovely. Look at that pink hair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right, so what else did I get? I got, why did I buy this? <laughs> I got a black blazer. I've already got a black blazer behind me. Uh, but this one was a Monkill one, which I don't think is a bad make. I think it's quite a good make. And it's a blazer, but it was longer. So I know it's quite trendy to wear them with like shorts and stuff, these longer blazers. So it was only like six pound and I just thought it was really cool and it fitted really nice as well. So I got that. I got this, uh, which was a lovely like Marks and Spencer satin sort of top. It's like silky stuff and it got these really big sleeves, but then the sleeves zip up, which is really cool. Really like the neutrally color of it. I really like the neckline. It is a bigger size than I would normally wear, but I thought once it's tucked in, um, it was really sweet and it's just so pretty. I really liked it. Um, and then I got a really fluffy cardigan, which again is a, a few sizes bigger than I would normally wear. But I love the fact that you could then wear it oversized. I really like the colour. It matches my green shoes. And it's just really fluffy and it's got pockets. And yeah, I just really liked it. I was so into fluffy things. So that was what I bought. I love charity shops. I just love the randomness of never knowing what you're going to find. So it was very interesting. Obviously, it raises funds for a very good cause. So that's what I bought. So I'm just trying my fluffy jacket on. Right, so the postman's been. Let me show you. Right, <laughs> look at these. They're not real. Um, I've got them off Depop. So we've got a Gucci hair clip. Obviously, the eye on the end's not quite right, but from a distance, it's not bad um obviously it's fake <laughs> so it says Gucci on the bottom there as well and then i've got a chanel one as well so if you do like these and you want to test them out they've got them on depop obviously they're illegal you know fakes blah 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 i've been debating about getting a real Gucci hair clip but they are so expensive and my hair's quite thin and i don't know whether my hair would hold a clip very well or not so i thought well if i get a fake one i can try it and see what i think to it so um and obviously this is a fake chanel one these are really expensive if you buy one these from chanel they're about 600 pound so again it would be nice to try one so i got them they're cute aren't they i think they were about 10 pound each which is still a lot for a hair clip um 
but I'm hoping they'll be all right. I've tested them under my spotlights and they really do sparkle when they've got torches on them. They really shine, so they're really pretty. So that's my little treat of the day. Right, off we go again. So I've got my garden on because it matches my shoes, look. <laughs> it's so cute. And then just testing out my little hair slip, slip, hair clip. It's really cool. I really like it. Um, you can hardly tell you've got it in. Fits really nice. And for a tenner, I love it. Apart from my hair needs washing. Right, okay, let's go and get Ruby and a friend. Sat waiting again. <laughs> Every day I wait for somebody, but never mind. Let's hope they've had fun. Let's hope they're not too long. Oh no, it's raining. Oh no. I'm home. We've got them. They had a fantastic time. And it's pouring down. I can't believe how much it's raining. My dog wants to go out for a wee in the rain. <laughs> Glad to see that Miss Winnie's still feeling comfortable. <laughs> Look at her feet. Look how she hangs her feet over the end. <laughs> right, we've been playing a fun game called Match the Socks Up. And we've managed to match them up and we've got no odd socks. Woohoo! Another fun game called Make the Bed before James comes back for his holiday tomorrow. So we've got a bit of bed making to do now. Hmm. There must be a rainbow somewhere because it's raining and also the sun is out so there definitely must be a rainbow hmm more fun games so now we're doing empty the bin Woo! i can't know how much excitement i can stand <laughs> and then we've got to cook tea Ooh, i nearly forgot to show you before i throw the tin away um this is what we've got for tea tonight so we're having like fake chips with stewing steak and gravy from tesco it is so nice it's so like thick and meaty you can put it over chips you can put it over jacket potato you can have it with veg instead of like for a sunday dinner it's just such an easy meal so nice oh it's lovely that's what ruby did at the graffiti club today so she did her name and then she did that one which is like a night sky aren't they good i really like them Ooh, right ladies and gentlemen there's my tea so you might guess my friends would be around me so for tea tonight we've got the stew and steak um little fake chip things i've made and then there is some peas under here look peas Ooh, lovely off to enjoy it All that effort to get comfy. Mm, and then magically, my chihuahua turned into a pug. <laughs> Hair washed. Hair washed and put a clip in. Woo! Look, it's so pretty. Pop my ears a bit red from drying my hair, but yeah, got me wrapped right and round. I love it. It's so nice. It's so pretty. Woo! I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we've done... What have we done? Mm, we've been to the Jared shop again. <laughs> so if you do enjoy just a bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget the little link is down below to our website if you would like to treat yourself to a bag of the day or a mug of the day. We're just trying to see if we can get some more colours for the bags of the day. Um, and don't forget a pound from each sale from the bag of the day goes to breast cancer research. And also my little Avon shop. The link is also down below for a little bit of Avon. So I love you and leave you. I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye.